Agriculture CS Mithika Linturi has made some very interesting remarks that I want us to have a look at here for they are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Nataka kusema nikiwa hapa fertilizer and then muchukue fertilizer musindanganywe na wakora na watapeli. Na hii ni story ile watu wanga wana create. Na wana create story sababu gani? Number 1 mujue tunapigana na na watu wengi hawatutaki hawatutaki mema. Number 1 wale walikuwa naongea maneno ni watu waazimio. Wale watu waazimio wakati tulikuwa rais akisema tuingie mashambani walikuwa mbise kwa barabara na sufuria kwa kichwa wakiandamana. Tukaambia watu waandamane kwa mashamba hawakusikia. They have no they cannot give us any ideas on how to make Kenya food secure. In fact, their business ni mambo ya ribike chakula kikosekane alafu turundi kwa ile shinda tulikuwa nao. Listening to Mithika Linturi, he seems to be saying that there are no fake fertilizers. All that is a creation of Azimio. In this forum, not once, not twice, but on several occasions, we've been discussing this issue and I've even been sharing with you some videos of Kenyans complaining about buying fake fertilizers from the National Cereals and Produce Board depots across the country. These are things we've been talking about in this forum. I want us to put those remarks by Mithika Linturi into perspective for Kenyans to understand the games being played here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe in order not to miss our next video. Let's proceed. Is it true Kenyans are buying fake fertilizers from the National Cereals and Produce Board depots across the country? It's very true Kenyans are buying fake fertilizers. So mythical in touring, is just pretending that he does not know that. He knows that there are fake fertilizers being distributed, but he does not want to come out openly to accept that because if he does that, he might be stepping on some powerful toes in the government. That's one thing Kenyan should know. The second thing Kenyan should know, listening to mythical in touring, all these talks by the government that they have started investigations to ascertain what is actually going on, there are no investigations going on. And if at all there are any investigations going on, there are investigations to cover up the whole scam. So nobody will be held responsible. Nobody will lose his job. It will be business as usual. And also listening to mythical Linturin, it also reinforces this notion that no cabinet secretary or no ministry can make an independent decision. Decisions are being made at state house or by some very influential figures in government. And these cabinet secretaries are just there to be seen. They don't have any power or any control at all on what's going on in their ministries. And I'm saying that because last year, we saw some cabinet secretaries anonymously complaining that decisions in their ministries were being made at State House Nairobi. After which they were just being told to sign some gazette notices. So they are just there to be seen, but in actual sense, Decisions are being made at State House. And a company cannot win such a big tender of reformulating the fertilizer and then it supplies it to the National Cereals and Produce Board without top government officials in Kenya Kwanzaa knowing that. So this company supplying the fake fertilizer 
if you look at it very diligently, that company has very strong connections to the who and who in Kenya Kwanza government. They are the untouchables. That's what Kenyans should understand from those remarks by Mithika Linturi. If you look at it from another angle, Ruto and his team came to power through propaganda. Hmm? Propaganda and divisions. They used to say, wale watu wakurusha mawe wakumwa really. They were trying to create that kind of a division and that's how they rode to power. Listening to Mithika Linturi, he's clearly trying to exploit the divisions that exist politically and ethnically among Kenyans. Mithika understands very well that Kenyans are very emotional when it comes to political issues. By saying that this is a zimio, he's just trying to incite Kenyans along political and ethnic lines. And I'm saying that because some Kenya Kwanzaa supporters listening to Mithika Linturi saying that this is a question of Azimio, some might actually believe that it's true. There are no fake fertilizers. These are just stories. So this is a government that is exploiting the ethnic and political divisions that exist among Kenyans. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Mithika's remarks also exposes a government that is very disparate to pass blame. They always find somebody to blame. If they feel they have been cornered, they always find somebody to blame. In this case, this government through Mithika Linturi is just trying to blame Azimio for their mess. I just hope and wish that Kenyans have matured to understand that this is a government that has clearly failed, so it's just trying to find excuses. It's very clear that fake fertilizers are being sold to Kenyan farmers, and that has the potential of killing crop production. And if that continues, then in the coming months, I'm seeing there is going to be full scarcity in the country. Courtesy to William Ruto's government. And I won't also be wrong to conclude that we are dealing with a bandit kind of a government. And this brings me to the issue of integrity. Integrity in leadership is key. Kenyans are going through all this because they ignored this aspect of integrity. Even before Ruto and his team were voted in, some Kenyans already had issues with their integrities. It is now coming out very clearly that those Kenyans were very right. How I wish Kenyans this time around should open their eyes to see clearly that they are being given a raw deal. This is not a team worth holding public offices. Let me stop it there. Those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person who may want to support us, contact me through that number below. That's our m -Pesa number. Let's meet in our next analysis. There are people who are being massacred by bandits. Na nindugu zetu kama sisi hapa. Wanazungumza luga hii ambaye tunazungumza. In fact, uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary, you know the office of the Inspector General is, a, is an independent office. Sa ingine minaona watu wanatafta kindiki, wanasema sijui nani. Likuwa nataka ni 